I'm on home page view department I'll just try to log in here so now I have logged in successfully I can go for view department again now if I say log out again if I go to view department it throws a login page for me so I can directly access login page over here now as we have given secured access to this I can also give secured access to all these three things so what do I need to do instead of giving secured access on a particular action I can give a secured access to the complete controller now it is going to give a secured access to all the actions in the controller now if I have hundreds of controllers I need to add this to each and every controller now I can do one thing I can directly go to the global file and I can give it to the application level I can say global filters dot filters dot add I'm going to add the filter that is authorized attribute so we call them as filters so instead of applying filter to each and every controller I have applied filter to complete application that means my whole application is secured now so let me try to execute now here is something interesting if I am trying to access login page now even login page is also secured and home page is also secured but I don't want to give secured access to home page or login page that means I want to exclude these two things I want to exclude home controller and I want to exclude accounts controller so how do we exclude we can exclude by giving one more filter or you can say another filter on home controller that is allow anonymous so it is going to exclude home and here I'll say allow anonymous it is going to exclude account now I am on home there is no security for this now I am on login there is no security for this if I go for view department it has redirected me to the login come for home page if I say view employee again login go to the home page create department login home page create employee again to the login now uh, when a visitor cannot access these things four links then why should I show them if a user is logged in then only he can access these things and if a user is not logged in why should I show logout now if a user logs in now user is already logged in then why should I show login again I'll show logout hope you understand what I'm trying to say I'm trying to say that if a user is not logged in I'll show home and login link that's it if a user is logged in I'm going to show home view department view employee create department create employee and logout so how do I achieve that I can achieve that with the power of razor view engine I'll go to layout I'm going to differentiate these two things home should be visible in every case whether a user is logged in or not logged in whereas these things that is view department view employee create department create employee and logout should be visible only if user is logged in and login should be visible if user is not logged in so I can go for my razor view engine and I'll say if user dot identity dot 
is authenticate so this is is the feature of your membership classes if user dot identity dot is authenticate equals to true or I can simply leave it as is if it is an authenticate user then I am going to show them these links else if it is not authenticate or not an authenticate user then I am going to show them a login link let me execute this now you can see this user is not logged in yet so user has access to home and login page that's it now let the user login with some invalid username and password credentials so it says invalid user now let the user login with valid credentials now you can see as soon as user is logged in you can see view department view employees create department create employee links and a logout link if i say logout now oh, it hides all the other links so that's it so this is all about your authentication now in our next video we will try to understand authorization and how to implement authorization that means i need to give access to these two things based upon the roles viewer and these two things based upon the role admin so let's see that in our next video thank you very much